Okay, next up, Kasakin. They're apparently pretty good, and they look rather awesome, so I think I'll give them a go. Now, these boys are drawn from Cadian shock troops in the lore, but looking at them, the Station Forge Grimguard Commandos would make a fitting Krieg proxy. They have the armor, the hotshot lasgun, the sergeant has the blade and pistol option, and they have all the heavy weapon options I'll need except for the hotshot marksman rifle. Actually, you know what these guys remind me of? Inran, the Wolf Brigade. The German helmet influence, the heavy armor plates, the hints of sci-fi tech, and of course, the ubiquitous gas mask and corrugated pipes. Plus, the general kick-arsery are all just very Krieg. So I feel confident playing Kasakin data slates, but as an elite force of death core of Krieg. Like the Kasakin, many are selected at a young age and endure a grueling training regime. And if they survive to achieve veteran status, they are elevated and enter this Krieg commando elite. Okay, now that I can justify it in my head, first up, dropped the files onto a thumb drive, ran them through the 3D printer, and ended up with all these bits. I was so glad I learned about the soak them in warm water before you try to remove the supports, because all those hotshot power cables would have surely snapped otherwise. I glued them to their bases, gave them a blast of Chaos Black Primer, and then a base coat of Abaddon Black. Then, getting started with a nice dry brush of Thunderhawk Blue Layer to catch the wrinkles in the uniforms, the boots, the sleeves, and the gloves. A lighter dry brush of Dawnstone Layer on the same areas to give a nice highlight to the ripples in the uniforms. The straps for their shin armor and their tunics and belts. Now, breaking out the Iron Hand steel base to give a dry brush across their helmets and gas masks, the jewel pipes and the backpacks, the hotshot las guns and the heavy weapons and their power cables, the sergeant with his power sword and plasma pistol, the carapace armor, the breastplates, the knee and the shin guards. Okay, corn red base on the pauldrons and for the sergeant, painting his helmet red as a sign of command status and easy identification in the thick of battle. And then, once this was dry, a wash of Karoberg Crimson that worked really well. When it settles in the overlapping plates, it really created a nice hint of shadow with a subtle gradient. On to the plasma weapons. White Scar, applied carefully to the areas where you'll see the energized glow. And then, just add some Tesseract Glow, technical, which settles into the grooves and the perimeter, creating the nice glowing effect with no fuss whatsoever. On the bases, Elmer's glue squirted on and then wiped around with an old brush and then a sprinkle of sand from Red Rocks. Once dry, if there were any bare patches or thin areas, another few squirts and another sprinkle of sand and then leave it to totally dry. And then breaking out the Cadian flesh tone layer so I can dry brush around their boots, applying it a little more heavily at the ground and working upwards to get that marching through a dusty desert environment look. Then, a few army painter swamp tufts on a few of the commandos, all nice and dried out looking, gasping for moisture in a parched, barren environment. And then, back to the box for a squirt of varnish to lock everything down and protect the paint job. Right, another entry in my regiment done. My commandos, a squad of elite veteran warriors, equipped and armed with the best in weaponry. Hotshot las guns, plasma, flamers, melters, poised to be deployed in the harshest of battle zones. Fearless, steadfast, and even eager to die for the Emperor, finally achieving the peace and atonement that all Kriegs seek. <laughs>